and today I am going to build a desk into this dormer. The basic version of this project doesn't require many tools. I did use a table saw and a jigsaw, but that's not necessary if you can have your plywood desktop cut at your local hardware store. If you don't have a dormer, you could always build this in a corner and just add legs to one side. Now I'm gonna use a really simple design that could be used in any space with three walls. I'm gonna build a frame with two by fours along this wall and this wall. And then I'm actually going to rest my plywood or the desktop right on top of this um, windowsill. Now this really could be modified for any space that's similar to this, uh, with the exception of the windowsill. If you don't have a windowsill here or something to rest the back of the um, tabletop on or desktop, you would actually just put in another two by four. So that's my plan for today. Um, I'm gonna use this tool, it's called a contour gauge. It's kind of a cool little tool um, so that I can replicate the exact um, shape of this molding. I'm gonna draw it onto my desk tabletop and then I'm gonna use a jigsaw to actually cut it out. Okay, so I've got the shape here of my windowsill on both sides. I put down the masking tape just to keep the um, plywood from chipping up when I use my jigsaw to cut out the shape. Um, I think this will be pretty easy. So let's do this. ready to attach my two by fours to the wall. The first thing that I did was I found the studs in my wall. It is very important to attach these to the studs so that your desktop or my desktop in this case can hold a lot of weight. Um, I had to notch this out because one of my studs is underneath this windowsill. So I am going to, I'm actually using deck screws because that's what I have. You probably don't need to use deck screws, but that is what I'm using. All right, so I put a mark on the wall so that I know where it's level, um, and I am going to pre-drill. Excellent, so I think the next step is just to again check my level. And It's very important to have level two by fours. And because I didn't have an extra set of hands, what I did is I started by putting in the middle screw and then I re-leveled the sides. Okay, they are in. So far, um, I, this is exactly what I was hoping it would look like. I have cut these shorter by three fourths of an inch because I am going to put um, a face along here. I'll show my last few steps and uh, cool. I prep my desktop and I'm ready to give it a coat of primer before I tack it onto the frame. A few things I did, um, you can see here, I used a drill bit uh, to put a hole in the top. The reason I did that is because I have an outlet underneath the desk and because I am going all the way to the back of the window frame, I won't be able to put a cord through the back. So I have to put the cord through the hole. So um, this is just to get easy access to um, the electrical outlet. Uh, the other thing I did was I put some edge banding. Um, edge banding is just a roll of, it's like a laminate wood that you use to finish the edge of plywood. So you can see, I didn't do a great job, but once I put a coat of paint over it, it'll be fine. Um, there's also a little tool you use to um, take off the excess. So 
That's what I did. I also used a little bit of wood filler uh, for a few spots that I chipped. Um, it's looking pretty good. Final step, which is attaching all my pieces together. I've pre-primed everything, but I haven't put the final coat on because after I nail these in, I'm gonna need to do some touch-up work. Now, I probably should use glue here, but I am going to probably put in a drawer at a later stage. So right now, I'm just gonna tack this in without glue with some pretty small nails that will hold this in, um, but I'm not going to make it anything permanent. So um, if I was not putting in a drawer, I would definitely put some glue here. My dormer space isn't square, and because of the exposure to heat changes, it expands and contracts. So because of that, I put a small, about one eighth of an inch gap on each side. Now I'm gonna fill that in with caulking and then I'll paint, so I won't even be able to tell it's there, but it's important to have that expansion gap. All right, there it is. Let's check it out, let's test it out. And there it is, a dormer desk, which stayed a desk for all of a week before it turned into a fish tank stand. The fish tank is surprisingly heavy. It's about 175 pounds with gravel and water. So I reinforced the two by fours with a few extra screws. And that's it. This is an easy weekend project for anyone looking to build a desk or a fish tank stand or both. Thanks for watching. This has been Lara from The Unprofessional. To see written instructions for this project and other DIY projects, visit my website, theunprofessional.com. And if you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe.